The occasional firing of the Haida's guns are about the only fearsome appearance this great warship has left now. And unlike its bombardment of the European and Korean shorelines in time of war, the firings are now done with blanks and they're largely staged for the tourists. There was a time in the headlines of 1943-45 and again in 1950-52 when the Haida was all that was romance in war. And these old veterans who now trade snapshots of former crew members were referred to as Canada's finest fighting men. The Haida has become an incongruity, a retired fighting ship permanently docked at the plastic world of Ontario place, and candidly a lot of officials who find some aesthetic values in cellophane and white paint would get rid of the old ship if it wasn't for the protest they fear from the veterans. The first sight of her HMCS Haida, when I come, you know, got right up there, it was the most beautiful thing I saw as far as a, you know, a, uh, well, what would you say, uh, a weapon of war, she was the most beautiful thing I saw. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, if Haida requests my permission, you know, it is a request my services, I would join her at any time. <laughs>